Yeah. So but before we get started, I just gotta <clears throat> have to apologize to everybody out there because um, I didn't realize I was doing it, but I, I kind of have a sailor's mouth. And in the first half, I dropped a couple couple of F-bombs and, the, and the, the, the gym is was empty and it said a couple other uh, not too friendly or good words in, in front of an empty crowd. And and I know my mom's gonna get on me as soon as I talk to her. So uh, before that gets, before I, I get uh, in trouble by my mom, mom, I'm sorry. Uh, all the little kids out there, I'm sorry for that. Uh, and I'll be better uh, going forward, but I'm an, I'm an excitable guy. And and uh, I love to try to get my point across and use those words as positives, but uh, not everybody takes it that way. So just wanted to get that out there. Go ahead. Uh, for myself and the team, after a big win against uh, USA a couple of days ago, um, we just didn't want to have a letdown today. We wanted to continue to build, and we were able to do that. Yeah, and, and same thing. I mean, they, you know, we played obviously all 15 guys tonight, and, and it was hard. The minutes were a little choppy, but the one thing that I told these guys from uh, from day one is, you know, in, in tournaments like this, and anytime you're on, on a team, in, in in order to truly reach your your greatest uh, uh, ability, uh, you have to have sacrifice. You got to sacrifice individually for the betterment of the team. And you know, I give our guys a lot of credit. We have a lot of talent. We have guys that can play thirty minutes a game and put up big numbers and help us win. Uh, but because of that, uh, you know, we want in the way we want to play, which is getting up the entire game, putting pressure on our opponent. Um, we know that we have other guys that can play minutes too. And so we're, we're just excited that we have this group because everybody in this group wants to sacrifice for the betterment of the team. And that, at the end of the day, is how we're going to get connected and have a chance in Tokyo because it's going to be hard. You know, we, 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 yes, we, we won two big games. They're friendly games. They don't mean much in the standings, like I said. But uh, uh, to see our guys sacrifice for one another uh, in, in order to be connected at the end of the day is what we're striving for, especially trying to play these games right now. I tell you what, this, this this group is young, you know, for the most part. We're, we're a pretty young team, and, and we're a new team, but these guys are locked in, uh, and they've been locked in from day one, and that's the exciting part about it. And anytime you have a group that, like I said, wants to sacrifice for one another, that's connected, and that believes, um, then you're going to give yourselves a chance. And so, you know, it, it wasn't even something that we mentioned. You know, our, our, our guys expect every time that they step on the floor – they expect to be able to compete. And if we do compete, sometimes we'll win, sometimes we'll lose, but we're going to, we're going to bet on ourselves in that situation. So, you know, it wasn't a thing that we, we needed to address with a letdown uh, in today's game. from Kyodon's Japan. And uh, yeah, first of all, I'd like to ask Jackie about the energy you brought to the game today. <clears throat> um, uh, for me, I just wanted to go out there uh, and just give it my all. Uh, I was watching from the sidelines when the team beat USA. Um, I saw how good the guys looked. So I just wanted to do my part to try to make the team better and just leave it all out on the floor. And the coach, um, you know, you made 23 points against the United States. Today, it was kind of a struggle with the three point, but you made a um, lot of points in the paint. Could you talk about this team, you know? Yeah, you know, we obviously had uh, an opportunity against USA to uh, uh, shoot a lot more threes and uh, it wasn't, excuse me, it wasn't like this tonight. Uh, you know, you give Argentina credit. Argentina's up in our chest. Um, you know, they're, excuse me, they're playing in the passing lanes. They did a great job playing in the passing lanes and transition. 
And uh, because of that, because of their style defensively, um, you know, we felt like we were better, you know, getting into the, into the paint and attacking. And then obviously having Ja with us uh, tonight was a huge lift. And so, you know, we, we feel we're capable of playing a lot of different ways. And uh, tonight it, it showed. Okay, um, coach, congratulations on um, another win. Um, Colin Udo here. So first question is when you look at the game you played against the USA and um, the game you played tonight, what are the things you take that you see as the improvements and what are the things you think your team could do better? One of the things, one of the things that we don't want to do, we don't want to beat ourselves. And, you know, it was great playing Argentina because their pressure uh, up the floor, in the passing lanes, trying to double team the basketball from time to time. Uh, it bothered us in the first quarter. We, I think we had maybe 11, 12 turnovers in the first quarter alone. And then, you know, we settled in after that. So to face the type of defense that we face tonight against Argentina is something that as a, as a team, we've talked about a, a, a lot during our training camp and to see us be able to respond to that type of pressure uh, was very promising, you know, and that's something that we got to work on going forward. Uh, obviously, you know, against Team Team USA, you know, we, we had that lead late in the game, and and we allowed uh, KD to be who he is, which is a great player, and and uh, almost allow them to come back and tie that thing. And so there are some things down the stretch that we could have done done better, so that uh, um, we wouldn't have gotten the, the scare that we got. But uh, again, that's what these friendly games are for. Uh, they allow you to work on, you know, some of the things that you need to work on. Just like I'm sure the USA and Argentina, they both didn't play their best games in their their opinions, and so it gives all of us an opportunity to work on, you know, our weaknesses from the from the two games to tr hopefully try to get better long term. And um, Jalil, um, you, you've come on, you've joined this team. How easy has it been for you to integrate with these um, uh, with the players on the on the roster? Uh, it's been fairly easy. Um, credit to you know, Coach Brown and the guys on the team. Um, they've been very welcoming. Uh, they've been helping me, teaching me along the way, uh, the way that we want to play. Uh, so, credit to my teammates and the coach. It's been it's been really easy, actually. Thank you. Hello, uh, this is Takeshi Shibata. I'm calling from Tokyo, Japan. And I'm, my question is to Coach Brown. Uh, 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 previously, Coach uh, Hernandez said that the Argentina is at 50% of the preparation. So they're not, you know, with the full power today. But uh, did you actually expect that the 23 wins today? Expect 23 wins? Yeah, 23 point win. Oh, wait, um, no, I, I, I don't, I, I just, I just wanted us to go out there and compete and try to uh, be who we are and see if we can keep trying to get better every time we step on the floor. Um, it, it didn't matter if we, if we won, you know, if, if we lost, hopefully we would have at least played the right way and gave effort. Uh, and, and, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out how good we can be. So uh, it, it was a good game by our guys. Uh, you know, we, we hopefully can continue to build on it uh, and, and see where it, where it leads us. But, um, you know, for us, we feel like we have a high ceiling. We just don't know where that ceiling is right now. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey Mike, this is Cooper Moorhead with the Miami Heat. Um, with Precious, how much of a plan did you have coming into camp with him as far as how you wanted to use him and how much of his game is kind of revealing itself to you over this process? Well, uh, yeah, his game is, is revealing uh, something new to me almost every day, you know, uh, same with, with, with KZ and, and, and I knew Gabe a little bit more, but uh, I'm getting a feel for our guys 
uh, every time we step on the floor. And w- with with Precious, you know, that I knew he could be a vertical threat at the, at the, in the paint. You know, we see that every day on TV with the the Heat. Uh, but I tell you what, I, I know Spo's going to kill me. <laughs> but you know, if his feet are set and he's outside that three point line, he's got a nice stroke. You know, and and so uh, we we told him, hey, if your feet are set and uh, you're open, go ahead, go ahead and let it fly. Other words, otherwise, we, we want you setting screens and diving. And, and those paint touches, uh, whether you get the ball or not, will result in the wide open looks for your, for your teammates on the weak side because you have to be guarded at all times around that paint. And, and then defensively, you know, again, we, with the size, his strength, his length, his athleticism, all that stuff, we know that we can switch pick and rolls and disrupt a lot of teams uh, come come uh, Olympic time uh, because he's that good on that end of the floor. So uh, it, there were some things that we knew about coming in, but uh, we're, we're learning a few things on the fly right now too. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. First of all, congratulations about the win, Coach Brown. What is what was the most impressive part? of your team in those uh, couple of games and what type of statement are those two games for you well i I don't i don't really think it's uh, there's statement games at all um because you know i both the teams that we played they're extremely confident teams and they've been playing at a high level for decades not for years but for decades and so for us to you know to win these two friendly games you know it, it helps our confidence. It helps us believe in uh, uh, what we're trying to do. And it helps us kind of start forming an identity. And, you know, when you can have an identity uh, going into any type of competition, that's real. Uh, that all that is, is a positive for your group. So uh, they're good wins for us to, to build on, but they're not really statement games. We're not, you know, you, when you play a friendly game, it's not a statement game uh, that, that you're looking to make of it. It's just a game that uh, you hopefully can use to uh, get a little bit better. Hello, Rafael Haynes with the three-point conversion. This question is for Jaleel. Jaleel, when you first came into the league, it seemed like the league switched to the outside game and it wasn't towards your strength of your game. But now playing in the Olympics, how refreshing is it to be able to Showcase your skill set. Um, <clears throat> honestly, just being a part of the Nigerian team, um, being a, involved with everything they're doing, um, that's been refreshing. Uh, just being like a team atmosphere um, and just being involved. And as you pointed out, uh, the game has went away from the big man. Um, but everybody here is telling me just to be myself. And they've been super supportive of me in that regard. Thank you, Thank you. you guys. Thank you.